Whenever we are working with any new data set, there are certain things that we must perform to do basic data analysis, right? So I have written some of the steps here. For example, um, you will do some missing data. Uh, you know, where is missing data? You will see where the outliers are. You will do some kind of data cleaning. You will check correlation. You will check some charts, some range variation, right? Some initial exploration of the data. So unfortunately, all of these things need code. Even pandas give some of the things, but we need to write code for most of the things, right? So today I'm going to show you one tool where without writing a single line of code, you can do much analysis of any given data and you can also export that code. Okay. So without any delay, let's go ahead and try to do some kind of data analysis using that tool or using that package. Okay. So where I am, I am inside my Jupyter notebook. Let me go here inside my Jupyter notebook. And here, if you see, I have installed a package called detail. Okay. So the name of the package is D T A L E tail. Okay. So normal pandas I'm importing, then detail I'm importing. Okay. Both these things I'm importing. And then there is a data set on top of my uh, desktop. So I'm importing that data. So if I have to show you uh, my data, right? So my data dot head, right? So this is basically a cars data. You will see brand price, body mileage, engine type registration, year model, etc. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to not do the data analysis using pandas, though I can do that. But as I told you, there is a tool which makes your life easy. So I'm writing here DT. DT is what I have imported this package as. And then I'm saying DT dot show my data. OK, so it is opening something like this. And here uh, we will ignore this warning for now. And we will just go ahead and open this in a new tab. OK, so I will click here. And it will give me an option of opening in a new tab. See here. So let me go here and open this detail thing in a new tab. Once we have opened our input data in a new tab, right? Then we have many options here. So let me show you options one by one. And first of all, as I told you, initial things that we want to see, right? We want to see the describe of the data, etc. So let's go, go here and click on this and say describe. At the moment you say describe, right? You don't need to write any code. You just come here and it gives you total number of rows, count, missing, minimum, maximum, etc. Uh, Volkswagen is 899 times, Mercedes Benz is 831 times and so on and so forth, okay? Click on value counts. It will show you a chart like this, okay? And Volkswagen is like 899 times, Benz is like 831 times and so on and so forth, okay? Note here, guys, here you can give your own uh, filters as well, which column you want to aggregate and what you want to aggregate. The most beautiful thing why I'm showing you this is you can click on this code export. At the moment you click on code export, right? It will give you all the part of the code that has been used to generate this particular chart. Now very easily we can take this and we can plug in our solution. Okay, so play around with the filters and with the options here, export the code and plug in into the solution. Okay, let's close the describe. Obviously you can uh, select and unselect from here. And let me go here and in my data, suppose I want to, so this is Mercedes hyphen bench, right? Mercedes hyphen bench. Suppose I want to keep only the text, one kind of data cleaning I'm talking about here. Okay, so I want to keep only text. I do not want to keep this hyphen. So let me go here again and I will do this time. I will go on clean column. Okay. Click on clean, clean column and select the column as let's say brand in that brand. What I'm going to do is I'm going to say keep alpha only or remove numbers or whatever you want to keep. Okay. Drop, stop, word, normalize. Many things are there. For example, I will say keep only alpha. Okay. And then I will say create. So at the moment I say create, you can see here brand is the original column. Brand created is the new column. And here Mercedes Benz hyphen is gone. Okay. Obviously we can replace that with a space as well. Now you might be wondering what I will do. I mean, with this data and how can I export this? So very simple. You can simply go here on action. And I think here only you can export the data. Summarize feature analysis settings highlight somewhere. There is an option for data export I had seen and that that's definitely there. Okay. So see here export at the moment you click on export. You can go for CSV and your data will be exported.
okay so this is one way then we did the data cleaning and without writing a single line of code and we got our clean data now let's see some more interesting things here guys come here and click on something known as correlation see here correlation okay so it will show you charts like this and here i can select two columns for example how the mileage related with price so something like this and in the bottom it's showing mileage and price correlation okay so these kind of things we can see very simple to see another interesting thing i want to show you here is feature there is something called as let me close this correlation first close this correlation come here and click on feature analysis okay so this feature analysis is also interesting see here maximum correlation with others correlation above threshold missing rows so many things it's showing you so engine v has missing rows okay now engine v has missing rows suppose i want to see which are these missing rows or i want to treat these missing rows okay so maybe i want to treat these missing rows so what logic shall i take or how should i clean my column right so i can come here and i can simply go so if you go to highlight here right there are different kinds of highlight you see highlight data types highlight missing highlight outliers and highlight range all four are very important so let me go here and click on highlight missing okay and at the moment you say highlight missing you can see a red thing here on engine let's click on this red and let's say so only missing okay so it will show you all the 148 values you want to export this you want to export it and treat it separately or do a separate analysis we can obviously do that okay so let me clear this for now and let me go here and let me let me clear this as well highlight missing okay so in in highlight there are multiple things here for example highlight data types if i click on right so it is showing me these are the numerical data types if you take your cursor it will show you like this numerical float or whatever it is right a string and all now let me show you one very important thing here known as charts okay so in charts i will go here so if i have to see let's say uh, price of the brands then i will come here and say um, aggregate by brand and what i want to see i want to see the price and what i want to see i want to see the mean or average right so in this average i can see mercedes benz is most expensive then bmw is expensive then toyota is expensive and we have a chart here okay so we want to save it we want to export it we want to export the code so you can see here a few options copy link export code export chart export png export csv so all these things we can do it from here okay and one more thing i want to show you here guys is you can come here always and you can just in the highlight one important thing here highlight range right suppose i want to see price and i want to see greater than some number let's say twenty thousand. okay and i want to see apply so you can see here all the twenty thousand greater than price has been applied and we can simply go and do some analysis we can export it in this way we can put here custom filters right so if you go here right you will see many options for example custom filters for example many things that i did not show you right so what has happened just now is we are able to do a lot of initial data analysis without writing even a single line of code and of course as i showed you you can export all these code pieces and all your export analysis also the charts and graphs okay so this way this package detail makes your life easy go ahead and do some practice on this and let me know in comments how did you like this video guys please give me a thumbs up if you like this video i will see you all in the next video wherever you are stay safe and take care